Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. All afternoon, YouTube. Here we are this afternoon to uh, show you a little item I got in the mail today. This uh, is going to be the uh, start of a new uh, troubleshooting video uh, series on using uh, signal substitution and actually signal borrowing from one radio to another to troubleshoot. So. Let me uh, go ahead and show you what I got here. Let me show you the damage I got sustained to this thing first. There you can see, uh, I think you can see, there's quite a bit of damage there on this end where it was hit or something. Uh, I don't know that that's damaged anything on the inside, but it may have, you never can tell. So, definitely all the way through, so. Well, let me go ahead and get this open, we'll show you what it is. I you can see packing is a little on the minimal side, but uh, that's uh, not a sign that it's going to be damaged either. So let me go ahead and get it out and see. Look, take a look at it. All right, what we have here is a Zenith FM AM radio, solid state. I believe from the maybe early 60s, I'm thinking, but uh, not sure exactly when. It's in the 60s, I'm pretty sure, but. Uh, Yes, it's solid state. I, I chose that on purpose um, for using this demonstration. I just wanted something that was easy to get to and and uh, try try this out with. I'm not really sure this is even going to work. This is something I'm just thinking might be a good way for people that don't have a uh, signal generator or tracer, either one really, to uh, troubleshoot radios if they've got another radio. Uh, so. Like I said, that's, I'm going to get too far into that, but that's what I want to use it for. It definitely needs some cleaning. This, uh, this is supposed to work, so we may give it a shot here in a bit and see, see if it does in fact work. We have to stop thinking that retirement begins at some Yeah, you can hear it does work. Like 65 or 70. This is AM, I think. begins when you have enough money to enjoy the lifestyle you... Like every other AM radio I test, only gets a couple stations here. It's just not a lot of stuff to listen for here and see more on AM. AM. So let's try FM just for the heck of it. I don't hear anything at all on FM. see a pointer in there either. Tun tuning capacitor seems to be turning, but I see any indicator at all for the pointer. So, so I'm going to have to guess that the FM is not working. So that will be something to fix. Um, anywho, the audio section works. That's that's a good good way to start out. At least we know we have some audio. Just find a wrong right problem with the uh, FM. That's all we got to do. So, anywho, that's uh, that's what I got. And uh, the deal is, I have another one. Uh, I'm gonna put the ad up for this one. I give I gave six dollars and something plus shipping. Uh, for this one, and I have another one just like this coming. And it also included a uh, older GE radio. I think it was from 1951. I noticed that because that was the year I was born. 
and um, it's obviously a tube type and uh, I, I, I know exactly what what it is and everything so I'll, I've got the uh, schematic for it too but uh, like I say more importantly the uh, one that's just just like this one here um, doesn't work it says it doesn't work so um, I'm gonna try to take a signal from one and inject it to the other radio and see if I can get this thing to work that way so this will be interesting I think to follow along with and uh, if, if this works out, then like I said, people that don't have signal generators and uh, signal tracers, any other kind of test equipment like that, can actually use another radio. And it doesn't have to be solid state or two. I mean, it can be a mix because the way we do it, it's going to be completely, uh, there's going to be no DC connection between the radios. So, anywho, let's uh, I'll get, get done with this and get back to what you're doing. Um, I just wanted to show you that I did get another radio in the mail today and uh, so I don't know when the other one the other one has been shipped the other two I should say but they're coming from I said Dickinson, Dickinson North Dakota I believe which is pretty pretty much on the other side of, of North Dakota so on the west side I should say so anyway that's got a got a ways to go before it gets here and uh, I think they're saying Wednesday on the 11th is when it's uh, when it's supposed to maybe be here. So we shall see. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.